Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. When it comes to content, I think the majority of people would rather watch a higher resolution 4K video versus the low resolution 1080p. And then for the people creating that content, 4K is both a blessing and a curse. And so in one case, you could produce some really great looking higher resolution 4K videos, but there's definitely some drawbacks. So today I'm going to be showing you how to edit 4K using proxy clips in Kdenlive. Live. Now before I get into that, let me show you the hardware that I'm working with. So on this machine, I have an Intel Core i7 6700K CPU running 4 gigahertz. It has one physical processor, four cores, eight threads. And for my RAM, I have 16 gigs of RAM with an AMD RX 470 GPU. And then for my storage, I have two SSDs and a mechanical drive. So even though this isn't the most powerful machine out there, it is enough for me to do 4K video editing but there are definitely issues. So here we have some 4K video clips. I've already dragged some down here to the timeline. So let's go ahead and check this out. So if you look here to the preview window, things look just fine. However, the problem comes in is whenever you could be doing more than one single video clip. So I'm gonna drag this over here. There is a layer above it and there are effects on there as well. So let's go ahead and preview this again. And as you could probably tell right away, the performance just suffers. It's stuttering, it's practically going frame by frame. Because the resolution is higher, the file sizes are larger, and so it requires more processing power. Now, there are ways in which you can approve this preview right away. The first way is to go here to your gear icon, choose the drop down, go to track compositing, and choose preview. So this will run this preview at a lower quality, so lower color fidelity. So that means less processing power. So let's go ahead and check this out again. And that does improve things. So that's the first thing you want to do. And then the second thing is the method that I think a lot of people use whenever they're editing 4K, and that is using proxy clips. Now, proxy clips is a feature that is available on a lot of video editors like Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, Apple Final Cut, and it's also available here in Kdenlive. Live. So for the video that you want to make a proxy clip on, which is basically a lower resolution version of your video, you simply go to the clip, you right click, and then you choose proxy clip. In this case, it's not highlighted, so you need to turn that on. And you turn proxy clips on in two ways. You can go up here to your project, go to project settings, and there's a tab here called proxy. You could enable it here, and you could also automatically generate proxy clips for videos above a certain number of pixels. You could do the same for images, and you could also use external proxy clips. The other place you could change that is go here to settings, configure Kdenlive, Live, and there's proxy clips, the same settings here. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on, and we'll do it really simply. Let's go here, enable, and then say okay. So now if you go back to your clips, you could right click. Now this is available. So choose proxy clips here. We'll choose a proxy clip here as well. And you see this P symbol in yellow. That means there's now a lower resolution proxy clip version. So now if you go back to your timeline, let's go ahead and preview this again. And the performance is better because the preview here in this window is using the lower resolution version. However, whenever you produce this video, you render, it's still going to use the 4K video or the higher resolution. So that's what's great about proxy clips. You could do all your video editing here. You know, don't slow down your workflow, but still produce 4K content. For the best value in domain names, check out Namecheap, where you could get a domain for an entire year for less than $10, plus get WhoisGuard privacy protection for free. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Now, before you render your video, uh, there is something that you want to do. You want to go back to that gear icon. Make sure your track compositing is back to high quality. You want it at the highest quality available and then go back to render and there are some other options here so typically you're not going to see these other options these you have to turn that on so go to more options and you see this so under the encoder speed you can adjust the number of threads that your processor use so if you have a multi-threaded processor then you could easily increase the number of threads i've tried this myself and so you might want to experiment and you also use parallel processing as well. So try these things out to see if it improves your overall rendering time because that's another huge thing with doing 4K content. Your rendering time is gonna be longer than when you're using 1080p. So that is my video on how to edit 4K using proxy clips in Kdenlive. 
If you actually had any other thoughts or tips on how to do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my entire K to Life tutorial playlist, I will leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.